I've been spending a lot of time lately watching beavers and muskrats down at the river near my home. And one of the things that really struck me is when you first start seeing these two very similar semi-aquatic rodents that really share a huge amount of their habitat, how easy it could be to get them a little bit confused, especially if you don't see them on a regular basis. So in this video, I want to talk about three differences between muskrats and beavers that will help you both identify them and also to interpret some of the behavioral differences between them. So one of the main differences between muskrats and beavers is their size. Beavers are really a lot larger than muskrats, and if you get to see them on land, this size difference is really quite obvious. But when you see these animals, you often just see the head or whatever parts they have sticking out of the water. So it isn't always obvious just from seeing them swimming in the water how large they actually are. And the head of a beaver can look fairly similar in size to the entire body of a muskrat. So the way that most people typically talk about how to identify muskrats and beavers is that beavers will swim with primarily just their head above the water and that the rest of their back goes under the water and the tail. So that you might just, if you're seeing a beaver swim in the water, you might just see their head poking out. Now, for me, where I've been observing these muskrats and beavers on the tidal river near where I live, I haven't really found this to be the case, and I often have seen beavers swimming with a lot of their back exposed in a very similar way to what people typically associate with muskrats. And so what I personally have found to be a better way to identify the difference between a swimming muskrat and a beaver is by their tail and the way that they use their tail when they swim. So beavers have this wide paddle-like tail that they use to propel themselves forward in these pulses. It's like they'll pulse their tail and when you're watching the beaver, you'll see them kind of pulse forward every few seconds as they pulse their tail. Muskrats, on the other hand, are kind of like a large aquatic vole, and they have a tail that is much more long and skinny, like a rat tail, and they also use their tail to swim, but the way that they do it is much more fluttering and constant than the beavers. And so if you look at the wake of a muskrat as they swim through the water, there will be this constant flickering motion that is quite different from the wake of a beaver. And both of these species really are attracted to still water. And so a lot of the times when you see muskrats and beaver being active, you'll notice that they're moving through very still water. And this is one of the really effective ways to actually see them, to spot them when they're swimming along. And it makes analyzing the wake of their movement very easy. Both of these species are also nocturnal, and so that also often contributes to the calmness of the water in that there very often is less wind at night or at dawn or dusk, which are the times when you're most likely to see muskrats and beavers. One other thing I'll mention about their tails is that beavers have the added difference to muskrats that they will use their tails as a sort of communication device and will actually slap the water as both potentially a warning to any sort of animal that might be on the edges of the water but also, it seems to me that they're very likely using these tail slaps to communicate to other beavers that there's danger over here. I think about how far that sound must travel in the still water when they slap their tail, and that other beavers in the area, they must be able to hear that sound pretty far underwater. So another key difference between muskrats and beavers is their diet. Muskrats tend to have a bit more of a variable diet than beavers. Beavers tend to be a lot more restricted in their diet, but in general, they are both focused on eating plants, but they focus on eating different types of plants. Muskrats primarily focus on eating herbaceous vegetation like grasses and bulrushes and cattails, these softer kind of materials that live at the very edges of water. Beavers, on the other hand, 
are much more focused on the woody materials. They will harvest saplings, and I have been seeing a lot of times they go up to the base of the big trees around the edge of the banks of the river, and a lot of people think about beavers as cutting trees down, but in a lot of cases, they're actually just feeding on the cambium at the bottom of the trees, and they don't actually girdle the tree all the way around, so it gives it a chance to recover. But this foraging on woody vegetation at the edges of water and being able to actually cut trees down is something that muskrats do not do. And this is something that I've noticed very commonly that I will see beavers moving through the water carrying sticks in their mouths. And I will see muskrats moving through the water with grass in their mouths. And this can be another good way to tell them apart. And it also gives us some good insight into their behavior. So if you live in a place with wetland type habitat or a body of water, maybe a river or a pond, and you go to this place and you see the sign of beavers chewing on trees at the edges of the river. It's a very obvious kind of sign that beavers leave, and there are often very obvious trails leading to and from the water that the beavers will use. And if you go to one of these places at especially dawn or dusk during still conditions, like high tide on a tidal river or on a very calm evening when the water is just still in like glass, there's a very high likelihood that at the blue hours, sort of right around sunset and a little bit after sunset, that you will get to see one or both of these species. And if you look for those differences in the size the wake that their movement makes as they either pulse through the water like a beaver or flutter along like a muskrat, you will very likely get to see them harvesting food and see these differences between the beaver's preferences for woody material and the muskrat's preferences for vegetative grassy material. And they really, I have found that muskrats and beavers are quite happy to live together in the same habitat. They coexist quite peacefully they don't compete in terms of their diet or living space, and they're just really fun animals to watch. And doing exactly that, I've been able to get some great views of them and really feel like I'm starting to understand them a lot more. So I hope you found this interesting. I'd love to hear about your experiences with muskrats and beavers. What have you noticed about their behavior near where you live? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.